volunteers coming out to build the uh, uh, rain gardens in a day. So I really encourage you, if you haven't taken a look at it, read the sign out there and see what that's all about. But I think of all of the lessons that we've learned, the, the big one it, for us is that really building relationships, it's like building rain gardens. You don't just walk away once it's built. The hard work, but the joy uh, lies in the maintenance of what you've built. You knew the gift of God and who is saying to you, give me a drink, you will ask and he will give you living water. So we pray God every heart, every mind, every spirit be filled with that love this morning. Every person, God, be rejoicing because of what you have done. God has called me to be a connector. God has called me to leverage what he's done for me to bring people together. That's why I'm so excited that you all are here. You're my friends, my colleagues, I now really need you to help me in this effort to spread this message throughout the city called United by Water. And that ministry is going to be based on uh, four values. To be intentional, relational, actionable, and inspirational. And I'm going to call on you to help us in that effort. We're going to be committed to this space here. Continually be committed to this space here. But we're also going to go to other parts of the city. So people, you can't keep doing the same old thing the same way. I think that's insanity, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So for us, uh, as we talk today, all of you here, I'm going to make an ask of you uh, at the end of the service too. So I want you to start thinking about what that ask is going to be. It's not a huge ask, but I'm going to make an ask of you. Um, but it's to, to be intentional. Jesus did not need to go through Samaria, but to be intentional, you have to take the road less traveled. That's why there's so much dissension. We want to take the easy route. And we want to take the route that's more comfortable for us. Another part of taking the road less traveled is that you have to get out of your comfort zone. It may not be easy for you to take the road less traveled. It might not be the, 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 the easiest route to go. It might not be the most efficient route to go. We have to be relational. And it says that, uh, they, verse number seven says that, there come a woman of Samaria to draw water, and Jesus said unto her, give me a drink. See, Jesus had a conversation with her. First and foremost, we gotta break the ice. We gotta have dialogue with people. We gotta have dialogue with people who don't look like us. We gotta have dialogue with people who don't sound like us. But we have to have dialogue, we have to have interaction. We have to have communication with people. So there must be a conversation uh, that we ha must have with folks. It must be relational. We can give them the water that we care about them. We can give them that water that, and we say people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That is the water that we have to take around and give to other people. The last one is being inspirational. How do we inspire people? How can we make this thing viral? How can we take this approach to other parts of the city? How do we look at situations throughout the other parts of the city that we think this formula will work? It takes money. We're in America, people. It takes money for things to happen here. And if it wasn't for Christ, I wouldn't be doing this. But God has given me the spirit of giving and serving. And I want to serve, but I want you and ask you to serve with me. We fall down.